Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again. I know you guys probably heard the news earlier um, that uh, Taco Charlton, uh, as we like to call him, Soft Taco right now. <laughs> and I'll get to that one in a minute. That one, That's a hilarious story. Um, he got picked up by Miami Dolphins. And I told y'all, then my last video, go back and look at my last video. And I said, what if he get picked up by the Miami Dolphins? Watch he get big picked up by the Miami Dolphins because we already know the Miami Dolphins situation. They just getting rid of players. They just saying forget this season. We'll start over. We'll get a bunch of first round draft picks. They trying to get everybody's first round draft pick. It's gonna be the draft next year. It's gonna be like with the third pick in the draft. The Miami Dolphins select. Miami Dolphins select. Miami Dolphins select. Miami Dolphins select. That's what it's gonna be like next draft. When we do our draft analysis, it's going to be just Miami Dolphin talk all day. I'm, I'm literally going to turn into a Miami Dolphins YouTube. <laughs> but anywho, um, you know, so Taco's now with them. It's funny. So I wonder if Miami just picked them up just to get our defensive play calls. So uh, Michael Anthony Fitness said, he don't know nothing anyway. I just laughed. <laughs> now you look at um, him being with them now. And literally, he's down there for a couple of days, and he's coming right back to Dallas because it's a home um, Cowboys game this weekend. And it's a 1 o'clock game, 12 o'clock um, Texas time. Now, the funny thing is, are they going to start him? Probably, because their defensive line is trash. Everything about them is trash. Um, but I will do an analysis on it. They do have some bright spots on their team. Now, I'm not going to say this is a trap game, but I will say that um, you don't take any team in the NFL lightly because a team like that with nothing to lose, they ain't got nothing to do but gain something. So, you know, a lot of times teams like that where they just suck so bad, sometimes they'll, they'll, you'll underestimate them to the point where they might actually beat you. So, And I'm not saying that they will beat the Cowboys because they're not going to do that. But – Think about it like this, and I'm going to talk a little bit about it later on in the week, but, uh, well, Saturday. Um, the Cowboys got some some starters that are going to be out in this game, so remember that. Um, remember, Xavier Woods um, is out with his high ankle sprain. Michael Gallup just got surgery on his meniscus. Um, Antoine Woods is going to be out a couple of weeks. So you that, that's three big starters right there that um, do a lot for you. Now, the fact of the matter is we do have depth on this team now, so that should help tremendously in this game. But I think that uh, we're still going to beat the Miami Dolphins. But it's just funny because you already know that Asan Taco, he going to try to get some get back or whatever. He going to try to hit Dak, and it's probably going to be a fight on the field. But the funny thing that came out when they were asked about why he was released and somebody from the staff, I don't know if it was one of the media guys, but he said that he said to the reporter that uh, Taco was soft. He was a soft taco. He was a soft taco from Taco Bell. You know, the one with the, you know, it's wrapped up, got the little beef in it with the with the sour cream, the white tortilla with the with the sour cream on. Yeah, he was a soft taco. Um, ain't nothing hard about it at all. So. I'm pretty sure he heard all that, and you know he heard that, and he's going to feel some type of way, and he's going to try to get some get back or whatever the case may be, but it is what it is. Um, we're going to win. But like I said, I'll talk more about the Dolphins then, but it's just crazy that I actually said, I was like, what if the Miami Dolphins pick him up? And that's and I when I saw the um, when I saw the news come out today, I just shook my head. I was like, oh, damn, that's what... I said that. I, I knew it. I knew they was gonna do that. But and I knew that he wasn't gonna um I knew he was gonna wasn't gonna clear waivers that I knew that somebody was gonna pick him up ASAP. Because there's a lot of teams in this league that need pass rushers. And like I said, you guys know that he started coming along in um in the practice um what is it, the preseason and he did good in that game and he got some pressure, but for whatever reason he rubbed this this staff the wrong way 
by stuff that he said. And one thing that you don't do as a player is go on social media and say how much you don't like this and how much you don't like that. That pisses your team off, and it lets them know that you're not a team player. And it was a lot of animosity between him, the, the coaching staff. Some of the guys were getting fed up with him being lazy. They basically said that he just didn't have the work ethic. And when coaches see that you don't have the work ethic, they're not going to give you many chances. So for him to say that he's, oh, you want to go? All right, bye. Bye. Go on to your little 0-2 team that's about to be 0-3. So, um, yeah, you'll play a lot down there. Oh, you're going to play a lot down there. You, you will be sweating. You're going to be a wet taco, a wet soft taco down there. But at the same time, you ain't going to win. So, neither here nor there. Let me know what you guys think about that. It's your boy E2 Blue, always keeping it real. <laughs> soft taco. <laughs>